Hi guys, it's Kai here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a different kind of, I was going to say a speed build, but it's not a speed build. Uh, it's a different kind of build type video because I already built this dorm. As you can see, it looks uh, different than that dinky dorm over there, which is what this one used to look like. I kind of did it on my own before moving in my Discovery University uh, LP Sims. And I just kind of slowly worked on it, so but I wanted to show it off. So we're going to do like a walkthrough. So as you can see, obviously it's a little bit different than it used to be. Again, dinky, ugly, used to look like that. Now it looks like this. I did the same thing that I did with the Brychester dorm and I tried to keep it like the exterior the same. But this one I actually did add an extra level to because I feel like it looked kind of normal. So I did do that. I also added some banners because, you know, you want to be festive. Hello. We want to look like we love the school we're at. All right. So let's let me see if I can figure out this camera situation because cameras in the penthouses is a little difficult. OK, so this is. Oh, God. Now we're moving. Now we're moving slow. So this is the entry. Technically, the um, what's it call it? The what is that called? An elevator is right there. Uh, which is where it was before. I added stairs, obviously, because we have to have a second level. And then I also added a cafeteria, similar to how I did in the other one. You don't need the cafeteria, but I saw a lot of people complaining that it didn't exist, so I decided to add one. And I wanted to keep it kind of clean and simple, but also in the colors of Foxbury, because again, we want to celebrate the fact that we're at Foxbury. We have some school spirit, so we wanted to do that. So I added some red tables. I also added a coffee and tea bar. As you can see, it's definitely being used. The coffee machine has broken three times already because my Sims use it constantly. Not just my Sims, but my Sims roommates use it constantly. Uh, so I do think that, that was a good idea, adding a coffee bar. And then if we go on around back, I did add a little bit of an outdoor area. Nothing much compared to the one I did at the Brychester dorm. It's just got like a ping pong table, which I did make sure works. Uh, it's got a little seating area and then a juice pong place. So that's kind of all there is down here other than the dorms, which I didn't actually change from what Foxberry already had. Oh, I just realized the texture on that. Oh, it's shiny. Ooh, that's cool. Um, I just, I shrank the room size down a little bit. Ooh, that's weird. That weird glitch. Okay, cool. I did shrink the room size down a little bit. And just by doing that, they seemed a little more cluttered and a little more nice. Also, your roommates fill in um, their dorms with some live drag edit objects. I've mentioned this before. I think I've said it in my LP. I think I said it in my... Um, Brychester build, but they do. So that little stack of books, they added themselves, that they added themselves, and that they added themselves. Also that they added themselves. I have been selling my roommate stuff though to make some money, but that's besides the point. And then here's the other one, which is like the blue one, which is really cute, that they added themselves, and those plants they added themselves. They added that little coffee situation too by themselves, which I didn't even know was a live drag uh, object, which is pretty cool. So, and, but I just, I thought the rooms at this, oh, I added that too, at this dorm looked a lot nicer, I guess, than the ones that were at the Brychester dorm. So I didn't feel the need to really redo them. This one I did redo because I wanted to add a third bed. So there's one bed there, one bed there, and one bed there. I didn't really add any decorations though. I just kind of left it, but I did add another bed because I wanted more Sims to be able to stay here. And then this is my Sims room, which I definitely did decorate, as you can tell, also nice. Um, I added, you know, just some stuff. It looks a little cuter than the other rooms, but that's okay. It's for my Sims. It's just cute. It's cute. Okay. All right. And then if we go up the stairs, if I can do this properly, there we go. Up the stairs, you have a really boring little landing area with this little outdoor kind of overlook. It's cute. And then if we come back inside, this is kind of the big hangout area. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we can fix that. Ooh, okay. Not where I wanted to be. I'm not used to doing this, okay? Leave me be. All right, so this is like the upstairs kind of hangout area. It's nice and open. I have four different desks. Two of them have computers. The other are open so that like you can do homework. And then this is more like a study area. So you've got bookshelves, a little area to sit and have like a study group, ignore the trash on the ground. People keep putting trash on the ground and then leaving it there. And then again, same with the Brychester dorm. I added some kind of group activities. So you don't have, you have Don't Wake the Llama, you have Juice Pong and you have the dart board. I also added an art room, which I really kind of went all out on this room. And I really, really like this room actually. I added the art room just because, I don't know, I felt like, I felt like it needed something also woodworking table just because I felt, I just felt like it needed something else up here. 
And then over here, you'll see I did add another bathroom, which is just a bathroom. But the reason I added it was because I added a kind of workout room, as you can see. Again, don't ask me why. I just felt the need to add it. I don't know. Uh, but it made sense to me to have a what's it call it a bathroom upstairs with a workout room and then this is the other side of the open area this one again is kind of a hangout study space but this side has a tv and a gaming thing just so i don't know more things for your sims to do as a group and then let me give you kind of a general it's a little easier to look at it this way sometimes so you can see kind of the layout of what it looks like i wanted to just keep it nice and open because when you have this many sims i think there can be nine sims so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah when you have nine sims kind of crammed into a place it's a lot and then also random people also show up and your roommates will have random parties or if you decide to have a party a lot of people can end up at this location and it's a lot so i wanted to keep it kind of open so that there was like these big open walkways for sims to go through just to make it super easy super usable and so far i've had no issues with it i've been playing with this dorm in my discover university lp which if you haven't watched you should and I haven't had any issues with routing or anything like that or Sims not being able to get somewhere or be able to do anything. I have had a slight issue with there not being enough toilets or there's enough showers, but not enough toilets down here. And sometimes I hate coming up here. So technically there is a decent amount of toilets and showers. It's just I hate, I personally hate sending my Sims to the top floor just to go, you know, use the shower or whatever. But that's just... That's a me thing. You could kind of renovate it a little bit or re... You could probably just use the same amount of space but resituate it so that it works a little bit better. I don't know. But yeah, so that's kind of all there is to it. I thought, you know, I'd give it a try as to do a tour versus a speed build um, just because I, like I said, I, I did this kind of on my own in my own time. It just kind of came together as I was playing and seeing what I needed. I think it's kind of cute. I definitely think it's better than it was before because before it was just rooms and nothing to it and there was nothing for your sims to do so now there's definitely some stuff for your sims to do and there's still plenty of open space that if you were to download this you could customize it to your own sims and add in things that they want you know if they want to do like bot stuff you could maybe clear out this room and add bot stuff or you could clear this room out and make it like a research library so there's definitely room i kind of wish i did a little bit more outside like i did at the brightchester one but i just i didn't want to mess with the outside too much because i still wanted it to blend in and it definitely does it still blends in with this one and i plan on redoing this one as well but i can't decide if i want to leave it maybe one level and have less sims in that one and leave this one as the two level like this is like the party big place and this is more like the study one not really sure yet so you guys i guess can let me know what kind of dorm you're interested in now that i've done two dorm builds one for each university i also want to do the community lots so i'm gonna work on those but i'm not really good at community lots so bear with me as i figure that one out but yeah um i guess that's all there is to it like i said um i didn't really do terribly too much to this place because i thought these rooms were much cuter already than the other rooms and it kind of leaves it open to where when your sim moves into the dorm they can decorate it however they want clearly this one stands out um, I feel like it stands out, but it doesn't stand out too much compared to the other ones because I kept the same colors of everything in here. I just added a few little extra wall things and that was pretty much it. Plus now it just looks lived in because they have their presentation boards. I did add a fridge, things like that. I don't know. Anyways, I guess let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what you guys want me to do in the other dorms. We still have two other dorms. I plan on doing the community lots and I plan on building some towns, townhouses and maybe starter homes. Uh, and then we'll just have all of Brightchester redone, which will be really cool. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. And as always, have a life, happy time zone, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.